This morning on our Saturday session, Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Gallagher is best known as co-founder of Oasis, one of the best-selling rock bands of all time. Well, a decade ago, he launched a solo career, and this month he celebrates the release of a double album of greatest hits. He'll perform for us in just a moment, but our Anthony Mason spoke with Gallagher about his career and how he's been spending the long months of this pandemic. In the middle of the pandemic, Noel Gallagher finished building a new studio. It's been his refuge. Creatively, it's been the best ever because I've written lots and lots of songs and songs that were half finished. It's like, right, well, I'll do that today because I don't have anything else to do. His new album, Back the Way We Came, Volume 1, is a best of the first decade of Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds, the band he formed after he split with Oasis. What do you see when you look back over those 10 years? Well, I, you know, I came out of a, a band with a very strong identity, very famous band, a band that fans really, really loved. And I didn't want my solo career to be a sugar-free version of that, you know, like like, like Diet Oasis, you know what I mean? And um, <laughs> Which is Oasis. a great idea for a drink. Somebody, somebody should write that down. With the high-flying birds, Gallagher's music broke free from the Oasis sound. Has it been liberating somehow? In the sense that I'm allowed to work at my own pace and I'm not writing songs for a brand, you know, we were a stadium rock band, Therefore, I was writing stadium rock songs. I was writing for another singer. That singer was his brother, Liam. You said recently that Wonderwall is actually one of your least favorite Oasis songs. Well, my least favorite recordings. Uh Aha. The song is great. I mean, the song song isn't actually, still haven't finished it. I'd have longed for a pandemic back then, I would have finished it properly. It's, kind of, it's got one verse and one chorus, and that's really it. It's ironic that the biggest album we ever made is a load of half-finished songs. The 1995 album, What's the Story, Morning Glory, sold more than 22 million copies worldwide. You may know about this. Me and me and my brother fell out halfway through the recording of the album. Yes, I've heard. And never quite... <laughs> got to finish them and just said, this will have to do. Another track off that album, Don't Look Back in Anger, is one of Gallagher's favorites. What it's become is something that I could never, ever, ever have imagined. What is it you're especially proud of in the writing of it? I don't know. I touched on something. I don't know what it is. In 2017, a terrorist bombing in Gallagher's hometown, Manchester, England, killed 22 people. During the memorial, a woman in the crowd began singing the song. That's when it kind of hits you. It's like, well, this song, people have taken it into their lives and it, and, and it, and it served a purpose that day. It's something I try not to think about because it'll drive me mad of why. What is it about that song? And uh, I just put it down to my, something was in the air that night. I wrote it in Paris and fell out of the sky and thankfully it landed on my lap and not Bono's. 